right, I changed it. In fact, a lot of things are going to be changing around here. Yes. First, this is clearly not a real estate blog. I haven't talked about real estate in months. What it is, is it's a blog where I talk about important things and then draw attention to the fact that I'm a realtor in order to keep myself in your brain. Seems like a much more fair assessment of the situation. Second, I had this week's blog all written up, ready to be filmed and edited. Trouble is, is that it wasn't complete, and an incomplete truth is just as problematic as a complete lie. Because if you don't have the whole story to work with, you're not going to see the results that I'm telling you you'll see. You've got to have the whole truth. And it's my job, if I'm going to take this responsibility of telling you these things, that I gotta give you the whole truth. So let's do it. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. This is my last resort. Exercise. It's like the boogeyman of every person who lives in this new world where calories are just everywhere. And they all taste so good. And so you gotta go exercise. Just like you gotta go to work. And you Got him all the lawn. If you don't exercise, then you won't be sexy. You'll be a big fat sack of potatoes. And nobody loves potatoes. You see what we do here? Everybody's guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. You're guilty of it. We all try to get love from people, and love is kind of a loose term in this case, by pandering to their idea of what we should be. We're allowing our lives to be determined by the world view of what's important. If you're not looking good, then nobody's gonna want to date you and you're gonna die alone and live a life of unhappiness. You can relate this to anything. A clean house or a cool car or a great job, you know. The stuff that really is important in life. The problem is that we look at these things as if we own them, as if they serve us, as if that clean house serves our purposes, but they own us. They tell us what to do. They tell us how to think. They tell us how to prioritize our lives. If you're working at a job where you can't live by the truths that you believe, where your principles are being compromised, but you choose to work there anyway because of the salary and the notoriety and the recognition of your arrival in life, that thing owns you, man. While there are a lot of messed up principles presented in the movie Fight Club, one truth stands out. It is only after we've lost everything that we can do anything. You know why that is? Because we've finally been freed of these things that are mastering us. And right here is where we have to tell the whole truth. And this is where I may lose some of you. So let me preface it with this. I'm the guy who does not live by a truth until he knows it is 100% accurate. And it sometimes takes years for me to believe a truth. The whole truth is this. We, as people, as individuals, are always going to be mastered by something. Always. I would love for you to take the time to investigate that truth in your own life. See if it's accurate. Once you've accepted that truth, if you choose to accept it, then you'll understand that you have to make a choice of what you'll be mastered by. Because there is no person on this planet who isn't mastered by something. I know this is hard to swallow, and I commission you to figure it out for yourself, how it plays out in your life. This is probably one of the biggest realizations that you'll ever come to in life. That you are being mastered by something, regardless of what you think. I told you there was the whole truth, and I'm going to tell you the whole truth. I am mastered by my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If I tried to explain to you how to make exercise a tool that you could use to serve other people, while leaving Christ out of it, it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't be true. It wouldn't be possible. I've spent a lot of time in my blogs telling you how to do this very thing, leaving Christ out of the picture. And I am sorry, because I did that for years, and it didn't work. The presence of the Holy Spirit in my life has changed my desires to match His. And His mastery of my life is the only thing that saves me from being mastered by other things. I still have egregious errors in judgment. I still make terrible decisions, and I know that bugs the Holy Spirit. He hates that. But the forgiveness of God is something that you'll never find in anything else. I don't care who you are, you're being mastered by something. Figure out what it is and give it to God. No thing that you'll be mastered by wants what's best for you. God wants what's best for you. And that is an amazing thing. That's the whole truth. This is the foundation for anything you'll ever do. If you disagree with me, if you want to talk to me, I ask that you message me. We'll talk about it. I've never known anything to be more true than this. And here's what's awesome. Once you know this to be true, and you live by it, the joy and the peace are just the beginning. It's a whole lot of fun. See you next week.